Hello Seacoast, this is just a quick catch up again. I have two thoughts that I'd like to share with you today and they both come from John chapter 15. John always gets right to the heart of things. And firstly, as we approach uh, Anzac Day, I'm reminded of what Jesus said in verse 13. He says, Greater love has no one than this than to lay down one's life for his friends. I think Jesus is speaking prophetically here about his love for us and you know, to the extent that he was about to literally lay down his life to pay the price for our sin that we could never pay for ourselves. But it also speaks to the many times throughout history where men and women have laid down their physical lives for their loved ones, for their communities, and for their countries. And so with Anzac Day in mind, let's remember to give thanks for the many service men and women who gave, they gave everything for the sake of others. Now I want to remember too, all the men and women around the world right now who are paying the ultimate price for standing up for their faith in Jesus Christ. They are not only doing that for themselves, they are doing it for the generations that are coming after them. And they are doing it as a declaration of truth for God's sake and for ours. But there are many ways people lay down their lives for others. I was watching some documentary last night that included interviews with nurses who were working in desperate and tragic circumstances in New York. They're not only dealing with the death of thousands upon thousands of people right now, but they're having to stand at their post as they see their own colleagues die as they care for and support others. One nurse had just lost three friends. These are the nurses who have been working by her side. Many of you know Sandy Perry. She recently got the last seat on a plane returning from Cambodia to Australia. She has given much of her life to support prisoners and the poor in Cambodia. Now her daughter is on the front line fighting for the lives of others in Northern Italy. She's obviously caught the same passion her mother has to love and care for those who cannot protect themselves. But what about you and I? You now we don't have to travel to another nation to lay down our lives for others. We don't have to fight in a world war. But we are all called to give our lives, to, to love others, to, to love one another in some way. It's the call to sacrifice, and only you know what that means for you. And I want to bring that to you as a challenge today, to search your own heart as to how you can care for and support someone today. The second thing is, and it comes from verse 15, also from John chapter 15, it says, no longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. There is so much chatter about the days that we're living in. There are so many questions, so, many, so much uncertainty. But here's the thing. We are not servants or slaves that blindly follow our master and who, who are unable to understand and make sense of the times that we are living in. We are sons and daughters of God, our Father in heaven. And Jesus says, well, whatever I hear from my Father, I'm going to make it known to you. We don't have, don't have to walk in confusion. We are friends with God. And even more than that, we are his children. Whatever you need to know, Jesus will reveal it to us. Now at the right time, in the right way, and with clarity. Our part is to walk with him and to be led by his spirit. Don't worry about what tomorrow has in store. Seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added to you. Whatever tomorrow holds, God, God's got it. If we need to know something, he'll reveal it. We're kind of on a need to know basis with God and I'm actually really good with that. So give, give your life away, whatever way and wherever you can, whatever opportunity you have. There's no greater love than to lay down your life for a friend. And don't get too caught up in what's around the corner. Jesus will make sure that you're, you've, you've got everything that you need before you, before you even need, including his wisdom, his strength, and his truth. So I hope that they are two encouraging words for you today. God bless you. Bye for now.